Hey, Matt here from SpineFit. Today I want to talk about range of motion with your exercises. Now, range of motion is determined by a few different things. If it's a healthy body, we want to take our exercises through the full range of motion when possible. So, for example, with a pushing exercise, we want to be able to push all the way forward, retracting, so pushing our shoulder blades together, and then also being able to retract and coming all the way in. So this is the full range of movement for a pushing or a pulling exercise. For someone that might have back pain or shoulder pain or is just really tight, then it might be more beneficial for them to do more of a partial range. So we might stop just short from coming all that way forward. Also, if you've got neck pain or tight upper traps, you might stop just shorter than pushing out all the way. But if you have a healthy shoulder or healthy neck and it feels okay, then there's nothing stopping you from going through that full range of motion. So when we take our exercises through a full range of motion, we're actually going to recruit more of the muscles and more of the muscle fibers to help us progress with our strength and our endurance, increasing our results. So with our squats as well, for example, we want to be able to go through the range that's suitable for us. So this is a full range squat. Some people might not be able to be able to go at that low if they feel it in their back, so they might start with a partial squat. So a partial squat is the same exercise, but just not going down as far. One of the key things with our squats and our step ups and different exercises where we're using our hips, and we want to target our glutes, is that we get that hip extension at the top. So where we get our hips all the way through so we can actually feel the muscles activate. So with the full range of motion with different exercises, you should be getting a good contraction at the top of the movement or the end of the movement. So with a squat or a lunge, we want to be able to feel our glutes as we come up. With a pushing or a pulling exercise, we want to be able to feel our muscles engage at the end of the movement. Okay, so these are all going to help and basically just progress your program faster when you learn how to use the right muscles and activate them at the right time and going through that range of motion that's best for you. Okay, so whether it's a partial range, a small range or a full range, we've got to work within your limitations and find out which range suits your body the best.